Today, almost every AI chat utilizes the streaming of responses, allowing the response to be displayed piece by piece as and when it's ready. So let's dive into how you can set this up inside of WeWeb. So before we dive into how you would actually set up the streaming response within WeWeb, it's good to have a basic understanding of how the streaming responses actually work behind the scenes. So in this endpoint on Xano, I have its response type set to stream. And the very first thing I'm doing in the endpoint is creating this variable, which is basically just an array, AKA a list of different words. So when you stream a response, all that's happening within the API is it's looping over a list of things, in this case, a list of words, and it's returning one item at a time. In this case, it'll be one word at a time. So then after this, I'm doing a for each loop where I loop over a list of words. And then I just have a streaming API response action where I send back the item, which will be the word. And then finally here, I have a delay of 0.1 seconds, just because this would be so quick that it wouldn't actually illustrate the point of streaming. So it's just for this example. And so now in WeWeb, I have this chat UI and this is actually a component. I won't go through the ins and outs of how you can create your own chat component. I'll only cover the logic of how you can stream the responses, but this chat component will actually be available as a template on the marketplace. So you're more than welcome to download it and use it. So the only thing I need to do before I set up the API call is I need to create a variable in my project, which I've already done, and it needs to be an array variable. So here I have it and I've called it external streaming response. And in my component, one of the workflows I have is to send a message. And as I say, this won't be a walkthrough of how you can set up a chat UI. This will be a walkthrough of specifically setting up the streaming responses. So I won't cover the specifics of what these actions at the top are doing, but basically they're just saving the user's inputs to a messages array, which is what I use to populate the chat. And so the three ways you can stream a response from an API in WeWeb are either through Xano, Superbase or a standard REST API. The first one I'll cover is the REST API. So in my REST API request action, I have a Xano endpoint here is the URL. And this endpoint is the one we just covered. So where I have this list of words and we send back each word at a time. And so for the setup of this REST API request, as I say, I have the URL as that endpoint. One other thing to note when using the REST API request is the content type is important. So if you experience any errors when you're trying to make API requests while streaming the response, you might need to change the content type from being default application JSON to one of the other options. In this case, I'm going to use text plane. And the most important part of making this work is you need to toggle on stream response. And once you do, you'll be prompted to select an array variable where you want to save the response of the streaming. And here I've selected that variable that I created, the external streaming response. And on my component in the settings, I've just created a handy prop that I can use for the demo. So I can set this to REST API. And now when I put something in the chat and send it, we'll get back a generic response when I send this. But what the response will be is simply this list of words one by one. So when I send this, we can see we're getting those words back one by one. And if I open the external streaming response variable, we can see that each word was automatically being added to this array once it was received. So that's how you could set it up for a REST API request. And inside the chat component, all I'm doing to format this array of words is I have a formula called formatted streaming response REST API. And I have some JavaScript and all this JavaScript does is it joins all of the words in the array and adds a space between them. Whenever you're utilizing the streaming of responses from APIs, it's highly likely you'll just need to perform some kind of formatting to the response so you can actually show it in a user-friendly way, like so. So now that we've covered REST APIs, let's cover a bit more of a practical example. Now for the Superbase and Xano examples, I'm actually going to call the OpenAI APIs and I'm going to call the chat completion endpoint. So basically I can send a prompt to GBT and get a response. And I'll first go through the Xano example. So in Xano, I have this endpoint called chat and it has the input parameter of messages. And this is basically just where I will pass in the conversation history to this point. So the AI has context of it. And when you want to make an external API request in a Xano endpoint and stream the response of that request, it's important that you use the streaming API request action. And so in this request, I have it set up so it calls the chat completions endpoint from OpenAI. And then I just pass it the parameters that it expects. So the model I want to use, the conversation history, AKA the messages. And then finally, but crucially, I'm setting stream to true so that it knows I want to stream the response. And then in the headers, I'm just passing in my API key. And then exactly like the previous example, I'm looping through each item in the response because this will basically be each new piece of text I want to show 
in my front end. And then as long as the item is not null, so basically I'm just checking to make sure that there is actually valid content to show, I send that content back to the front end via the streaming API response action. And so for the call to Xano, in my workflow where I send the message, I just have a request to a Xano endpoint. I've selected my chat endpoint, and like before, I've enabled stream response and selected external streaming response as the variable that I want to save the response to. And then I'm simply passing in my messages variable, which is a list of all of the previous messages, so it has context of the conversation. And so let's see what this looks like in practice in WeWeb. So in my settings, I'm gonna put this to Xano. And so now if I say, hello, how are you? It was quick, but we could see the response came in section by section. And so if we wanted to improve the UX of this slightly, as we did before, I could add a sleep condition after this just to delay the response of each section. And so then if I ask a follow-up question, we can see the UX of the streaming was much cleaner. And like before, I've had to format the response I got back from the streaming endpoint so that it is actually readable on the front end. So if I expand the external streaming response variable to see what the raw response looked like, you can see it's pretty unreadable. Basically, when you're streaming the response in its rawest form, OpenAI sends back these big data objects that you have to manually go through and pull out the new content from. And so in this component, I have another formula for formatting the response from Xano. Basically what this code does is it goes through all of these data objects, pulls out the thing that we actually want, which is the content. And then once it has that big list of words, it joins all the words together so that we can show it in a human readable way. And finally, with Xano covered, let's now go through a Superbase example. Now in Superbase, to make API requests, you need to utilize what are called edge functions. Now to create edge functions, you do actually have to write the code for them, but don't be too intimidated by this. In my case, I just put WeWeb AI's mode to Superbase, and I asked it to create an edge function to use the chat completions endpoint for streaming. And if you want to copy this edge function, there'll be a link to the documentation in the description of this video, which will have the raw code that you can simply copy and paste into your Superbase edge function. So I have this code for the edge function, and the only other thing you need to do in Superbase to make sure this works is you need to have a secret that matches the case of this. So you need to have a secret that is called OpenAI API key. As you can see in my secrets. And so for Superbase in my send messages workflow, I have an invoke edge function action. And for this action, I've chose my function that you saw, which is called OpenAI chat completion. The method is post because that's what it requires in this case. I have stream response enabled. And again, I've chose that same variable that I want to save the response to. And then for the body that I'm sending, I'm sending an object with the key messages. And then its value again is the conversation history that I want to send. So now in my component settings, when I put this to Superbase and put it into preview mode, and send it a prompt. We can see we got that streaming response. Now this works the exact same as it did on Xano. The only difference is in the initial setup. At the top of the code for the edge function, we imported a few libraries, and basically these libraries did some of the formatting for us that we otherwise would have had to do once we had the response. So if I open the external streaming response variable, you can see we actually have a list of words this time. It's not a data object. And like for all the rest, I have a formula to format the response from Superbase. However, to format this response correctly, all I had to do was join the values because those libraries in the code did all of the pre-formatting for us. So to summarize, in WeWeb, you can stream an API response from either Xano, Superbase, or a standard REST API request. And to do so, you need to enable stream response and choose an array variable where you want to save the response to. As that response is coming through, piece by piece, it will gradually be added to the array variable that you gave. And then with that streaming response, you'll probably need to format it in some way. The simplest form of this is you may just need to use a join formula and join each item of the array, as we saw in the super base example. However, if the response isn't pre-formatted at all, so it comes in the structure that you saw in the Xano example with those data objects, then you will likely need some custom JavaScript to format it so it's human readable. In the case of this, don't be intimidated. When you have the formula window up, you could simply just open the context window, pass in whatever variable you're using to store the streamed response, 
and then ask AI to create a formula that extracts the content. Finally, if you do want this chat component to play around with, there'll be a link to it in the description of this video. And just note that for it to work correctly, there's this property called streaming response, where you need to bind whatever variable you're using to store those responses from the streaming APIs. And for this type property to work correctly, you'll need to go into edit of the component, go to the send message workflow, and you will need to configure the actions here. So right now, the Xano plugin on my project is connected to my Xano workspace, but obviously when you download this component, it will no longer be connected to my workspace. So you'll need to manually set up this request so that it routes to whatever endpoint in your Xano workspace that you want to use for this external streaming. And then likewise for Superbase, you'll need to reconfigure this action so that it routes to whatever edge function is inside of your Superbase workspace. If you want to copy either the Xano endpoint or the Superbase edge function I used for this, both of them will be in the documentation, link to it in the description. If you have any more questions on how to utilize streaming, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us on any of our socials or create a topic on the community forum. Also on our YouTube channel, we do a live office hours every Tuesday, 6 to 7 p.m. Central European time, where you can join us and we can tackle your issues live. With all that said, happy building.